How's it going, everybody? I'm the Poco Cavana, and welcome to Stories. The Path of Destinies. It's been a while since I've played through, and this one's not going to have a face cam because I recently got back from work and I look like trash. Not that that's anything overly new. Uh, let's try this out. Alright, let's try this out. It is slowly zooming into this book. This is definitely not a loading screen in disguise of a book. Alright, new record. Unless two seconds in, I already broke a goddamn game. Once upon a time. Hey, there we go. Okay, yeah, no, it just definitely didn't freaking run. Okay. The floating isles. Then. His mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. Huh. All right. The emperor had changed. He'd been good once, a shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. Then cool. people started whispering about Mass graves in the woods. Midnight rituals. Victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages. And no one ever returned. Less cool. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books. So they'd burnt the librarians. Oh, jeez. Citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with dropships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. <laughs> he was brave and dumb. Bernardo had promised his mother he'd protect him. Okay. I got a lot of promises here. Okay, cool. The game auto saves. It is good to know. The kid was looking down, watching his city burn. Sorry, kid. Renato told the kid. Look, if we give them the book, they'll leave you alone. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. So yeah, Renato one does. had to run after him. Okay, so I'm Renato. Alright, left stick is move, right stick is nothing. I'm sure it'll tell me the rest on the way. X is attack with sword. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was. Oh, dead Jesus dead, Christ! Which probably was Those some muff birds. Tiny brains. Hey, Renato said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, that didn't come out right. For the Emperor! The ravens cawed and rushed at him. Alright, X is attack. What else do we got? Or is X all we got? All right, when an enemy is about to attack, left stick plus X to counter. Countering can interrupt any other object. Sorry, action. Oh, I suck. Yeah, let's focus on this guy for now. All right, one at a time. Wow, they... Kinda just float around, though. Well, I suck. A dropship flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. Oh, well, uh, the bright red cloak probably doesn't help, but okay. Hold X to grab, left stick to aim, release to throw. Wait, can I, like, throw off? Oh, I can! Whoop. Loop. Sweet. Oh, right. The gate of heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Wait, does he have a hero sword? Oh, let you through. Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking that damn book anywhere. 
and neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. Where Wrong was sword. Going to get okay. a hero sword. Now pretend to be a hero? Or and wind essence? That sounds about right. Perfect. Ah! Okay, cool. Sword cracking. Uh, let's see. Selected swords, current level and special power. Selected special power in the next level. Blah, 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 blah. Level one. Look badass. I mean, that is all you need in this world. Uh, the resource needs to upgrade. Okay, cool. A hero sword. Q E D. Q E D. What? Do I have a dash of any sort? This is, is what he got for settling down and finding people to care about. The kid's mum had been a swell cook, and she'd laughed at Renato's jokes even when he didn't know he'd made one. And then the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. Dun dun dun. Boy. He came up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I harped, said the kid. White ass kid. Hey, look out behind you. Cute, said Renato. Well, that generally means Buckbird. Oh, ravens. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Maybe. Oh, okay. Never mind. Yes. No. To the kid! Go further! It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Oh, wow. Only my sword actually casts a shadow. And chase the kid down. Thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. How had he done it? Maybe if he meditated. Also, learn new skills. At that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. How convenient. Oh, okay. Each time you gain all of you also get a skill point, spend your skill points on altar, scatter the blah blah blah, new abilities and others and other ones. Four tiers of skills, so you unlock. Skill info, alright, that's pretty straightforward, and skill points you have to spend. Starting to come. Oh, back you can get a dash. Something you've never completely forgot, like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Uh, oh, do I not have to target it? Okay, cool. I thought it would put up some kind of weird targeting thing. Oh, that's actually pretty snappy. That feels there nice. There was the far fairer. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kester run in 12 furlongs. <laughs> so the salesman told him. And something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid and took off. No! Peter! But the kid ran for it. Oh, Peter Rabbit! A goggler nailed him with its ivy. A goggler? Oh, damn. A goddamn goggler. Uh, can I duck it all? Alright, cool! I didn't think that would actually work! Check that, goggler! The book was unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes. And the kid-sized Ew. pile of ashes. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renato picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Great, well that's so one promise, failed. Rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well... He'd hate it for life anyway. All that's next is to die by the gallows. What was the 
big deal about this book anyway. Maybe he should open it and find out. I'm pretty curious too. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Roared the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the Raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take oh. us to the rebel base! Evidently, Ravens are efficient birds. It called. The entire jury rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven, a sea of endless blood colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renardo could bring a game changer. Maybe he could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon would win the final battle. On oh, the other, what was in the book? His old friend Lupino had sent Renardo a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renardo could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky Ripper. Oh, I actually get to make a choice between this. Okay. That's nice. Uh, the rebellion was out of time. Renato needed a game changer. Even though Lapino wasn't... What anyone would consider a game changer, he could come up with some harebrained schemes. Maybe rescuing him would be worth it. Uh, the Red Valley was out of time to the game changer, your ancient artifact to be the Lost Gods. We, I kind of want to go uh, on the Pino. side of friendship. Apparently, the Mad Rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. The oh, people always cool. wiggled out of trouble, given time. But he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Straight to the gallows. Don't you worry, Mom, I'm coming to the gallows. Lapino had apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen the winged horse. He'd only sold it. <laughs> Wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had oh, workbench. Had everybody fled the ravens? Okay, your gauntlet can have three types of gems. I don't think I have any gems, though, do I? No, I don't. All right, cool to know. It's awkward to try and find a time to talk in this game. Uh, because the narrator is this was constantly there. Than pulling yourself up in a bucket. Hell yeah. Oh, that's going a lot further than I expected. Oh, well, I found the villagers. Possibly. The ravens had taken the town. Yep. Renato had seen villages emptied like this. All the people taken away to be sacrificed in the Emperor's secret rituals. Renato hoped the people were just hiding. All right, what the hell happened to the Emperor? Renato's blood was up. He just needed to smash something. Ooh. Nah, dude, there's just always secrets hidden in those things. Those things being crates. Oh, I... Oh, never mind, I don't get it. I thought I got it. Uh, I don't have any skill points, do I? Skill points is available, zero. Yeah. Hello! Oh, sweet buddy, oh mine. Alright, where am I supposed to be? Can I use this? Ah! Okay, green doors I can access. I have to come back Don't for that red door another day. No? Oh, 
All right. I think I'm starting to get this down a little bit. All right. I think I'm getting it. Ravens were landing everywhere. The advance guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. I don't think... Snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even Ew. top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? Do ravens eat rabbits normally if they get the chance? Can't imagine they like go at it while it's still a living rabbit, but I... I don't know. I do not know. I don't know if you know, give me a heads up. Wind essence. Oh, hey. I felt like he was ready to learn new things. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank goodness it, it was starting to come back to him. Okay, dashing cost Something stamina. Completely forgot. Like how to freeze time. Ah, oh, nice. The more he oh. Fought, the more he probably remember. Okay, I was gonna say I just wasted my stamina. The stamina actually comes back pretty fast. Uh, so far, my strategy for combat is constantly hit X and uh, don't actually look at whoever I'm hitting. Instead, just look around because anybody will die eventually anyway. Oh, they got some cool, like, blue feathery stuff coming off them. Feather blood. Blue blood feathers. Blah, 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 blah. It's coming off of them. Renato felt a chill run down his back. Oh, possibly a flea. Aha, he's an animal! But when nobody knew it, he was secretly a party animal. Alright, I don't think this game had any difficulty settings, um, so they're definitely giving me a lot of leniency on this beginning part. If I remember correctly, I believe this game is one where you're supposed to do multiple run through- Hey! Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. Lapino! was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We Who's Zenobia? Capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows. And that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and oh, oh. his only daughter. That would be worth it. Wait, wasn't the, the Emperor a frog? We still get to the core of the Sky Ripper. That Even didn't look like a frog. Thing. It must have great power. No, oh, I mean, sure, let's go with this crazy plan. Uh, let's go with this crazy plan next time! Until next time, have a wonderful day. Poker, actually, I want to read this. Uh, maybe Lupino was right. Maybe they should kidnap the Emperor's only daughter and the greatest general Zenobia. Extracting intel out of her would turn the tide of the Civil War. Yeah. Alright, we'll select that. We'll start that up next time because it should auto save as soon as I change. Daughter, of yeah, there we go. She'd been Renato's best friend. Oh, that would have been nice to know. And you're still mad for her. The rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She, she really doesn't look like a frog. Chuckled the master spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right," said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. Ooh, this can only go good places. All right, there we go. Until next time, have a wonderful day, Poco Cavana. Out.